What's going on YouTube? Today we have episode 4 of my sacred, I think that's what it's called, yeah, sacred gold Nuzlocke challenge. Um, if you missed last episode, I suggest you watch it or you're going to get some spoilers, but it's kind of already on screen, so. Um, first off, uh, Charmander, or our Flare, has evolved into a Charmeleon. Look at that beautiful Charmeleon. Look at them stats. Actually, that's kind of bad. Oh, he has solar power. Boost special attack, but lowers HP and sun sunshine. Huh. Would you look at that? And, um, unfortunately, our Peter the Starly has died. He is in our dead box, which is really sad. I was upset to lose him. Sorry about bumping my mic, but... Yeah, unfortunately, we lost him, and we're just gonna have to keep on keeping on without him. But to start things off, I would like to evolve this EV into... Actually, I won't tell you because some of you may not know what I decided I want to evolve it into. Although, if you watched the last episode, you would have known. Oh, look at that animation. So awesome. And our Benjamin has become an Umbreon. A beautiful Umbreon. I love Umbreon. He just looks so awesome, so majestic. If that's a thing. So congratulations. I wonder what his stats are going to be now. And his bite becomes Stab. The bite he learned leveling up as an Eevee. Um, oh wow, he has Magic Guard. That is, that's pretty powerful right there. Okay, so um, also what we can do is we have two catches there, two encounters that we can do. Otherwise, uh, what I want to do is go and fight the gym, and the gym is going to be pretty damn, pretty damn hard. I have fought this gym before on Storm Silver, and it was not pretty. All the gym leaders always have six Pokemon, and they seem to coexist with each other pretty well. It's, it's a complementing team. So we're going to come over here to Route 32 and we're going to get an encounter right away. I um, kind of want to bring out my heavy metal just because of the fact that he has hypnosis. But I guess we'll just have to see what it is. A bell sprout! Okay. Yeah, I think we can work with that. So and actually I should bring out my my heavy metal because I think he resists grass four times. No, just twice. So let's shift into my heavy metal. I didn't do any grinding either in between the last episode because I feel like Charmeleon will be our kicker when it comes to this next gym. And I didn't want to be too over leveled. I wanted this to be a bit more fun. So let's hypnosis this bell sprout. Come on. Oh wow, look at that. We get a hit. We get a hit. Uh, I should go for just con just tackle instead of confusion, considering I have type advantage and that would be Super effective stab, and it's not like heavy metals uh, stats are too great, but um, he'd probably still kill. Cause this is a bell sprout after all. Okay, let's use a let's use a premier ball for this guy. Bell sprout was caught. Okay, we gotta give it a nickname. We gotta give it a nickname. I'm trying to think, trying to think. Okay, now I got a nickname. Would you like to give a nickname to the Caught Bell Sprout? Yes, I would. Oh, this is going to be bad. I'm going to call him BJ. And if you don't know why, you have not seen a Weeping Bell or a Victory Bell or a Bell Sprout in your life. So take a good long look at that and then you should understand why I decided to call it BJ. BJ the Bell Sprout. Uh, I think I'm just going to box this one. I'm not too. not too excited about having a. Uh, a bell sprout on my team. Actually, I wouldn't mind a victory bell. I've never used one before, to be honest. But, uh... Actually, we do need a grass type. We do need a grass type. Oh, wait, wait, wait! There's that guy down in this house who used to trade a bell sprout. So, let's see if he still wants a bell sprout. Probably not. He probably wants something ridiculous. I think it was this guy. I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Rhyhorn? Trade a Rhyhorn for a Gligar? I would do that if I had a Rhyhorn, but I have no idea where to catch a Rhyhorn. A Gliscor would be fat. Okay, now we can uh, get a we can get an encounter right off of this platform using the old rod, and this would count as our encounter for Violet City, which would be good. Let's go to my key items here. Uh, I think I'm going to register this old rod, so I don't have to keep going into my bag every single time. Okay, uh, what is my bag register item? There you are. And we're fishing. Uh, oh, okay, I thought there were supposed to be dots. I thought my game froze. I was about to be pissed! Okay, let's see, here we go. 
Not even a nibble. Not even a damn nibble. Can you even catch anything in here? Yes, I'm pretty sure that you can. I've seen somebody catch a star you here before. Come on. Oh, there we go. Landed Pokemon. Let's see what we got. Oh, I probably shouldn't be having Charmeleon out front. How dumb can I be? Ooh, a Poliwag. I would not mind a Poliwrath. I don't think many people would mind a Poliwrath. Okay, let's uh, let's put it to sleep here with our heavy metal. Ah! Always gotta be putting me to sleep. Status healers. Oh, I don't even have any awakenings. Oh, I'm just gonna have to just fight through this. Fight through this sleep. Oh, I woke up. That was pretty quick. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we can go for a confusion. Probably why I can take a confusion from him. Wow, he's already awake. Already awake. Oh, I got hypnosis first. Come on, we're just we're speeding through this. Power through it. Oh wow, I woke up twice in one turn. And will this be a capture? Will this be a capture? It is! Poliwag was caught. Okay, what should we name Poliwag? Poliwag is a tadpole. He turns into a frog. Hmm. What should we call you? What should we call you? Um. I know, I got a name. I want to call you Swirls. Or no, just Swirl. I don't like the R on the S of it. It's pretty obvious why I decided to call it Swirl, the Poliwag, because he has a swirl on his stomach. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go deposit this bell sprout, then I don't have to edit the layout. But, um, yeah, I'm going to put this bell sprout in the box, and I'll leave Poliwag in the box too, because we already have ourselves a water Pokemon, which is, of course, our Jaws. Wait, what? Why are you in the dead box? You are not supposed to be in the dead box. We do not want to... Okay, change box. There we go. Okay, now we have to deposit this bell sprout into there. Okay. We were deposited. Luckily, we have quite good defensive Pokemon on our team. That will make fighting the gym leader just a little bit easier. And I don't think we actually really need to heal, but I'm going to. While we're at it, we'll quickly go look at uh, the other route routes we can take. Maybe we can leave a little bit further in and get another encounter into this episode. Because I think this episode is just going to be the battle with the gym leader. Which is what I'm excited for. Can you go this way? I think this is a guy that gives you rock smash over here. What do you have to say? Plants are also living things! They would want to move around from time to time! Well, good for you. That's like Bellsprout. He can dance. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any patches of grass. This guy, he, yeah, he gives you... Oh. Well, apparently I'm talking to Charmian. He's singing. He is looking around relentlessly, or restlessly. Haven't you had trouble with the boulder block in your way? Of course you have. For people like you, there's an HM that will come to your rescue. <laughs> it contains Make em Faint Rock Smash. <laughs> you can even use it to smash boulders once you've earned the Violet City Gym Badge. But beware. Hidden moves like this are hard for your Pokemon to forget once they've learned them. You should think carefully which Pokemon should learn it. Okay. Thank you for that Rock Smash. I don't think I'm going to teach that to anybody because, you know, it's Rock Smash. I want to see what it's, it has its base power increase. It's 60. That is worth using. I forgot in this they changed the base power of all these crap HMs. Who would have the highest... I guess it would be best to put it on Lips. Yes. Throw you on lips. We shall take away... I want to take away Bide. I'm not going to sit there and hope to get hit by things. One, two, and poof. Lips forgot Bide and Lips learned Rock Smash. That is just great. No, I don't want to boot it up again. I don't want to boot it up again. Okay, now we're going to go buy some more items because I'm pretty sure we've got some more money now after all these battles at the Sprout Tower. And then we will commence to fighting the gym leader, which I am excited for. Okay, let's see what you got here to sell today. Pokeball, potion, antidote, paralyzed heal. Man, I wish you had some better items in this dump. Oh, I could go for super potions right now instead of freaking potions. Okay, yeah, I think that should be good. I think that should be well enough potions for this endeavor. Okay, we gotta level somebody up while we're in there. 
all gonna have bird type Pokemon. Flying type. Flying type. I don't want to use Lips because he is just gonna get smashed. I kind of think Heavy Metal might be our best bet. I think he's four times resistant. I don't think Psychic actually resists flying. No, I don't think so, actually. Okay, so I'm double resistant, but it's always good to have some resistances. I apologize if you can hear my drinking noises. Having myself some iced tea. Okay. Well, I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, but from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Oh, yeah, like you can tell. I'm going to smash you. I hope so. Okay, he opens up with a Spearow, level 11. Okay, we're not too over-leveled, at least not for the trainers in the gym. Uh, do I want to put it to sleep? Do I want to put it to sleep? Uh, but if I miss, it's a waste of a turn. Oh, crap, Pursuit. Do I resist Dark in this? Oh, I do. Thank goodness. Now it's neutral. If this was Pokemon Y, I wouldn't be resisting that Dark-type attack. Would you lower my... Oh, come on. Come on. Growl. Taking out the Spearow one by one. Pidgey. Pidgey. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna bring out Benjamin. My nice old Benjamin, who won't take any damage from poison or burns. Thank goodness. I wonder if I should make this a uh, physical or a special Umbreon. I think they're a little bit better in physical. Oh, that stab bite. 90 base power. Oh, it's a crit! One shot. Oh, code to that Pidgey bitch. That was a little me. do do o do do o can we kill it? Can we kill it? Can we one-shot it like Fidgey? Come on. Ah, of course not. Oh, look at that defense. I'm only one level above it. Six damage from a stab peck from a Dodo. Level 13. Ooh, yeah, see, so look at that defense. My special defense is surprisingly better. I thought they were about the same. Pursuit. Pursuit? What is Pursuit's base power? I think it's only 25. 40, okay. Excuse me, I think we're going to have to take away... Let's take away that. I forgot how to use Tackle, and I learned Pursuit. Although, it... that doesn't help the coverage too well. Because if something was just dark, then he's pretty much useless. Okay. You some kind of big shot? We'll see what happens if you get pushed around up here. Think you'll stagger and fall? People here are training night and day to become blurred Pokemon Masters. Bring it on! Okay, I'll bring it. I'll bring it just like I did to your buddy over there. I should have pushed him off the edge. Don't be talking shit to me. Just kidding. Okay, let's see. Confuse this heavy... Or, not my heavy metal. Confuse this Talo. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's, he's preparing for crits. Go ahead, crit my friggin' giant sack of steel. His defense can take it. It can take it. Uh huh. Okay. Wingle. Hmm. Maybe I should bring Jaws out. Jaws hasn't had much uh, screen time. Not since the beginning, anyway. Come on. Let's go, Jaws. Oh, why'd I go for a water gun? I am dumb. Wait, doesn't he know bite now? No, he doesn't. But he did. Oh, wait. Okay, let's just rage if you're just gonna growl. Rage! Rage! Keep raging! Oh, the damage really doesn't want to increase. Damn those growls. I'm just gonna speed up through this, because it's... It's pretty obvious what's gonna happen. Boom! One shot. Well, 100 and one shot. Natu. A Natu. Another freaking Natu. I'm bringing out Benjamin to resist your damn confusion attacks. The confusion that took out my Pita! so sad. Okay, let's go for a bite. Let's bite you on the face. Oh, look at that. Look at that. One shot from a non-physical Benjamin, surprisingly. Umbreon's attack stats is really the best. I'm surprised that worked. Okay, now we're taking out Heavy Metal. See, look at all these switches. I just don't want to bring Meditite out. Or my lips. Because he is going to get Pretty bad damage from all these flying types. <laughs> Astonish. Two damage, actually, actually, a little more surprising. I swear that it was just gonna do one. Critical hit. Damn right it's a critical hit! Mmm! 
126 experience. Okay, well, we're getting some levels anyway, so good thing I didn't grind. Confuse Ray. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm taking off in prison. Hypnosis might come in handy for capture, so I figured I might as well keep that. <clears throat> Regardless of its terrible accuracy, I defeated Birdkeeper Rod. Goodbye, Rod. How's the lighting on my web camera now? Yeah, it looks good enough. Good enough. I wouldn't mind getting a different webcam. One that's like super like 4K resolution. Actually, that's probably a little high for a webcam. Time to heal. And then we're ready to take on Falkner, the gym leader. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I'm always wanting to rest my Pokemon. Why else would I come here? Other than a... Nope, just healing. That's all I would do. I'd use a PC to put my dead Pokemon away. Okay, let's go. Oh, this kid. He must get tired. He must have, like, thick calves, because he just runs everywhere. He runs, like, across the world. Well, I guess across the region, technically, but I mean, come on. Okay, leave your comments below if you think we can kill all of Faulkner's Pokemon. I'm Faulkner, the Violet! Okay, you know what? I need some new voices. Uh, what would he sound like? He's kind of young. Uh, so he's got to sound kind of cool. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say that you can f clip flying-type Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay, that one was not much better than all the other... Exactly the same voices I've been using all the other times. Starts off with a Doduo. I think I can take a Doduo. I think I can take a Doduo. Let's confuse you right off the bat. Let's just... Let's just give you a confuse ring. Oh, I think Heavy Metal is going to be so perfect for this. This is going to be great. I apologize if you can hear my drinking noises and my swallowing noise noises. I have no idea how sensitive the microphone is for that. Aerial Ace did not hit himself in confusion, which is what we're hoping for. Wait for another confusion, then. Confusion up! Oh yeah, hit yourself, hit- oh. Useless. You're useless, Dodo. Can't even punch yourself in the head. Well, you don't have arms, so I don't know. You can fly. So you should be able to punch yourself. You don't have wings or arms. Oh, you're snapped out. You think I didn't get one hit out of confusion out of that. Okay. Not very effective. Better not be. One more confusion should take care of this salty little Dodo. Foe's Dodo fainted. That's one down out of six. 246 experience. Ah, oh, Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto's gonna be a problem. I think that might be his ace. I think it just might be. I kinda wanna bring out my Benjamin. What level is this Pidgeotto? You should nickname his Pokemon too. 15, yeah, it must be his ace because of those weird music notes that came flying out of him. I'm gonna sand attack you right off the bat. Oh, can you take an arrow lace from Pidgeotto? You should, I'm brown. You have a stat total of like 540 or something. Good stuff. You can take that a lot better than I was thinking. As long as you don't crit, I should be fine. But I think... I think I would die if he crit. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Uh, let's just potion you up right away. See, this is why I need a super potion. All my guys' HP are well above 20 now. Potion that up. Just skip through that uh, animation. Aerial Lakes. How many uh, Aerial Lakes do you have? Oh, wait. Why did I go for... Yeah, he's just going to keep hitting all of his aerial aces. Let's go for Bite. Minus one Bite. Against the pit. There's a crit! Jeez. See, I knew that was going to happen. I can't survive another crit, so I'm going to be bringing out my heavy metal. Jeez. See, that was a good thing that I healed. I wouldn't have survived, and I would have lost Umbreon on probably my favorite Pokemon right now. I'm not going to pick favorites. That's terrible. Okay, there we go. You can take some hits. I think I'm going to take advantage of this and heal my Benjamin up at the same time. Since you don't... Oh, come on. Come on! Super effective. Okay, you know, I'm going to confuse you, and I hope that this is going to hit. Yeah, there we go. Confuse you while I heal everybody up. You can just have fun and punch yourself in the head. Poor Benjamin. 
confused. Is he gonna hit himself? Is he gonna hit himself? It did. Unfortunately, he is gonna super potion. Oh wow, no, he's got a Oran or Citrus Berry. Probably a Citrus, no way out. Oh, Oran Berry, okay. I can handle that, I can handle that. Let's heal up this Benjamin. Oh, we're already running up to 20 minutes here. That's okay, because it's a gym leader battle. Hurt itself twice. That is some good luck right there. I kind of want to try putting it to sleep, but I already did get, get an accuracy drop, so I don't think that is going to do us any good. Can you hit it? Yes! Can you take out a Pidgeotto? You did! Nice. Heavy Metal is the shit. He is just pure steel. Murkrow. We have anything that can hit a Murkrow for super effective damage. Uh, Lips can. No, he's flying. He's flying, too, so... Um... He's gonna resist the dark. I'm gonna take neutral damage, and I am... Oh, I do not want to switch into Jaws. Jaws is so weak. Okay, now let's go into Benjamin here. At least I resist his uh, dark stab. Although, I think he's got Nightshade, actually. I guess it would be too terrible if it is. Aerial Ace? Does everybody have an Aerial Ace? Who does more damage? Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto one-ups you. Silly little Murkrow. Why do I keep lowering the accuracy of everything that's just gonna keep using Aerial Ace? Aerial Ace! 10 damage. 10 damage per Aerial Ace. I think I can dig it. I can dig it! Use another Tail Whip. I'm just gonna whittle this thing down to be able to get one-shotted. And we're going to heal up. Heal up. Maybe I should have switched into heavy metal. Seems like, uh. Oh my god! See, every time! Every time! Oh my gosh, these crits are unreal! I think he might boost the critical hit ratio of the guy that hacked us wrong. Jeez. Jeez Louise. What are we gonna do about this? We need something with battle armor so we can. I just need to heal everything up. I'm gonna run out of potions. I am going to run out of potions. I should probably predict the faint attack. Switch into Umbreon. No, I shouldn't. Let's confuse you. Hopefully we can get some free turns off. Confusion. Confusion. Murko became confused. That's great. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So let's potion up. Can you hurt yourself? Yes! Oh, those defense drops! Holy crap, those helped. If he can hit himself again, that'd just be great. No, of course not. Already got one. He's not gonna hit himself for a second time. Oh, it's a crit! That's good. Crit from our side is definitely something that I can get on board with. Benjamin grew to level 14. That is always a good thing. Okay, the Swablu. I kind of want to go into Jaws, and I'll show you why. I know exactly what the Swablu is going to do right off the bat. Hopefully it doesn't have anything that prevents switching, because if it does, I am dead. And now I'm going to bring out uh, Flare right away, and watch what happens. Go Flare. Is he absorbing light? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so you think you're safe. You think you're safe, but then, oh, what's this? He's got a white herb, is that? Oh, a power herb, that's it. So there we go. One turn move, or two turn move becomes one turn. That would have obliterated my Totodile. dial. Oh wow, we have Dragon Rage, I forgot about that. 40 damage right off the bat. I can get on board. That thing has less than 40 HP. Well, this is Swablu, probably has like 36. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Oh, Jaws grew level, that's good. Okay, now you learn Bite, that's just perfect. Let's take away Rage, because nobody wants to use Rage. I don't know anybody who ever uses it, especially competitively. 111 XP. Chatot. Okay, I kind of want to give Jaws some screen time, but I'm afraid that I'm going to get one shot by this Chatot. He might have something for me. Excuse me. I, uh, I don't think he can learn any Grass or Electric dead moves. Let's try a bite. Oh, an uproar? Oh my gosh. And I think that's just gonna continuously get stronger every turn. 
I think, I think it's a rage. I think the only thing we can really do is go into heavy metal, because heavy metal can take a hit, which is good. Same with Benjamin, but heavy metal at least resists the hit. How much will this do? Seven. It already does seven. I think if I, if he gets a crit, do you think I can live a crit? I'm gonna confuse it so we can stop this uproar. I'm so scared of critical, critical hits right now. If I get crit up the ass and it kills my heavy metal, I'm going to just punch my screen. I probably won't, but I would want to. Actually, I'd want to punch that bird. Punch the bird before I punch anything else. Heavy metal, time to heal. Jeez, this thing, this battle is not good on my budget. I've used way too many potions. Oh, thank you for hurting yourself. Oh, and you calmed down. You calmed down, did ya? You're gonna hurt yourself again? Oh, I don't think you'll be able to take him out. Can you take him out? Can you take him out? No. Does he have any potions? Nope, he doesn't. Nice. Snaps out of confusion. I'm going to take an uproar, but then this is going to kill this chat -ot. Will it kill? Will it kill? Come on, you have like 6 HP. I should be able to Look at that. Heavy metal putting in the work. Getting shit done. He knows exactly what this is all about. What is his defense stat? Oh, his speed is terrible. Oh, his special defense and his defense are 34, and his attack and defense are both. I think I must have a neutral nature for that to happen. I must. Farfetched. Farfetched can have a fighting type move. I'm gonna just jump right into Flare here and hope for the best. Because if I take a fighting type move, I would be neutral. I do not like the sounds of that on my heavy metal. It could be a Bronzong and like. 18 levels. I so can help me. Dragon Rage. Can a Dragon Rage take him out? Can a Dragon Rage take him out? Yes! He has less than 40 HP. Thank goodness. I do not want any trouble from a far-fetched. Walked into the wrong neighborhood, that's for sure. And we are going to go to level C of 17. Special attack is now 36. I defeated Faulkner. I forget what his voice was. But I got $1,800 for winning. So, I don't really care. He didn't kill anybody. That is a win. We have a fully alive party. We got ourselves a Zephyr badge. And what is he going to give us? He's probably going to give us Aerial Ace. He's supposed to give us Mud Slap. If he gives us Mud Slap, I'm going to be pissed. Pokemon up to level 20. Traded will obey you. I can use Rock Smash outside of battle. TM51. What is it? What is it? What is it? Instantly learn a move, new move. Yes, I know what it does. Oh, Roost! I can get on, bro on board with a roost. I don't think any of my team can learn it, though. Well, anyways, I guess this is going to wrap up the episode because we have defeated the gym. That is a win for us, so we have now gotten our first badge, which you will see right there on the layout. Um, so, yeah, that wraps things up. Uh, nobody died. We managed to capture um, a Bellsprout, and who else did we capture? Who else did we capture? Bellsprout, the BJ, and Poliwag Swirl which is a win for us, and we managed to evolve our cute little Benjamin into a powerhouse of an Umbreon. So uh, make sure you like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the, tomorrow's episode. Peace out.